Hey, how we doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Uh, hopefully everyone's having a good Friday. Uh, it's March the 6th. And uh, surprisingly, ever since I have uh, canceled my pro subscription on Google Stadia, there seems to be this effort to push as much features as possible, to push more games. And uh, hey, if I have that kind of an influence on a company, that's good because I want Google Stadia to be successful. I don't want Google Stadia to fail. And I said this many times before. Uh, obviously, this is something they should have implemented from the beginning. Now, in case you're wondering why is it that I still have Google Stadia? Well, that's because I have been charged in February for the March month. So I have this entire month of March to play because they already charged me $10 for it. However, uh, that's a pro subscription, obviously. In order for you to play 4K, in order, for, in order for you to play in HDR on a Chromecast Ultra and then in 4K on your Chrome browser. But I still have those games that I purchased. Like these games I have purchased, they're my games. Uh, majority of these games right here I purchased, so they're, they're my games. As long as the service is running, I have those games. Uh, also, interestingly enough, they also included a, another feature called uh, game capture sharing. So now everybody can see all of my friends up here, all these friends that I have here, they can all see uh, what I have on my capture. So for example, this video right here, I can click and you can see what I have captured from uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Like, for example, right here. This is in 4K. I recorded this in here. I'll, I'll play it. Actually, it's in HD, but let me see if I can switch it to, to 4K. Hold on. Let's try again. See? Now it's going to be in 4K, the capture. It's kind of like a YouTube. It has the same YouTube video, you know, browser, because pretty much Google is YouTube yeah, in a way. Not in a way, but in a 100% way, because <laughs> they are YouTube. It's a, uh, that's the Google company, YouTube, and it has the same interface. And it looks great, and this is awesome that you can watch my uh videos that I captured in 4k uh, it's pretty cool here you can watch it again so they are implementing a bunch of different features and that's good again this is what I was talking about this is what I want Google Stadia to do you know bring Doom Eternal in 4k and 60 FPS bring cyberpunk day one 4k 30 uh, this is what we want you know we want the features we want the games and uh, who knows, maybe uh, Jaden Raymond, maybe she's going to push things to happen. Maybe those 120 games, including Ubisoft Plus, uh, will happen. And I think Ubisoft Plus uh, subscription will happen because you have to remember, Jaden Raymond, uh, she has a lot of, she has a lot of connection. When it comes to a when it comes to Ubisoft I mean she worked for Ubisoft she knows the president of the Ubisoft and she has a good connection with Ubisoft and uh, that'll happen uh, so but we'll look um, let's go test one game let's test Metro Exodus in 4k let's see how it runs Let's do that really quick. Is this a good news? Is this something that's going to keep me excited for Google Stadia? Um, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. To me, Doom Eternal is going to be defying moment. I'll be able to test Doom Eternal when it comes out on March 20th. And I'll do a live stream of Doom Eternal on Google Stadia. And if Doom Eternal happened to be this uh, game that it's going to run super smooth, super fast on 4K browser, on Chromecast Ultra, then guess what? Then I'm sold. 
that I'm that I'm pretty much I'm coming back to Stadia, you know. And look, this is all good. This is good. This is what I want to see. This is a good news. Okay. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more updates. I'm looking for Google Stadia to be more communicative, meaning to talk to us, to give us updates, stuff like that. Okay. And that's what it's all about, guys. You know, this is what I want to see. And like I said, if I'm able to influence Google Stadia in some way, if, if they're secretly watching my videos, which I'm pretty sure people are talking about me, they're watching my videos, uh, I know they are. I know they are. Because I'm all over the U, uh, YouTube when it comes to Google Stadia. And if I can influence Google Stadia to be, for them to push harder, for them to, if I can be their drill sergeant, then let me be their drill sergeant. Let me push them to work harder because I don't want service to fail. I said this a million times before. As someone who invested all this money into Google Stadia, I invested $600 into Google Stadia of my own money to try all these games, including the Pro subscription and the controller and the Chromecast Ultra. You guys know that. So why would I want to see this service fail? Of course I don't want to see the service fail. You know. And it looks great in 4K. There's 4K right here. Looks beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and play it. Now please remember, if you're watching this video being premiered, just remember, you will need to wait for this video to be processed before you can actually... Uh, watch it in 4k all right so please keep that in mind this is a huge file that i'm recording and it will take time to be processed all right so i just want to kind of clarify that for everybody out there the locals were none too happy to see us here looks like after the war they created a veritable technophobic cult here looks very sharp and its leader managed to I mean just looking at it right now I don't know I see no idea what I don't know what you guys are watching this on are you watching this on your cell phone or are you watching this on your 4k browser monitor so please keep in mind if you don't have a 4k monitor and if you're just watching on your phone you're not gonna see what I want you to see uh, so please watch this on your 4k monitor uh, watch it on a 4k monitor or watch it on your 4k capable uh, YouTube app all right please and don't bother asking me down on the comment section why I cannot see the 4k please do your research find out which YouTube app on which device supports the 4k but I would prefer that you watch this on your 4k monitor if you don't have a 4k monitor then you can't see what I'm trying to show you here okay I'm just trying to let that be known out there which is a common sense all right. Oh man. Wow. This is great for 4K. This this is okay Google Stadia. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we want to see, man. No input lag. Smooth. This is what I'm talking about, Google Stadia. This is what we want to see. Okay? Now we're talking. I don't have any ammo. That's great. No ammo. There might be some uh, ammo here on this wreckage, on the airplane here. Oh yeah, guys, this is definitely better, man. Now playing a 4K on a browser like this, this is what, what it's all about, man. This is what we're talking about. Um, let's try another game really quick. Let's exit this. Uh, exit the game. It was excellent. Excellent, man. Not bad. Not bad at all, man. 
Um, let's go try out. Um, let me see. Let's try an NBA 2K20. I want to see how NBA 2K20 looks in 4K. This game's going to look fantastic in 4K. I can only imagine. Uh, let's click on that. Like I said, uh, please wait for this video to be processed because uh, it's a huge file. Okay, it's it's a very big file, and if you're watching this on a Premiere, just remember you will not see 4K on a Premiere because the Premiere it's only it's still processing. Premiere it's processing the video, it's processing the 4K, so you're not gonna be able to see it on the Premiere. Okay, guys. But once the video is processed and you have a 4K monitor and you're watching this in 4K, but you're going to see, oh, this is awesome, dude. What does this mean? This means that you don't have to have like a high-end PC. You don't have to have a high-end graphics card to, to enjoy games like Doom Eternal in 4K or to enjoy games like Cyberpunk in 4K. Uh, and this is going to be a big deal, guys. And on top of that, now you have two different options. You have an option to play your games 4K HDR on your television through Chromecast Ultra and also through a browser. So to me, that's a pretty big deal that you have that option. And of course, it's going to look great. It's going to look super great now. You'll see how beautiful this is going to look. This week, we take you behind the scenes of All Star from. And I purposely left the cursor so you can see that it's in 4K. That I'm using a browser action. Oh man, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. What I'm seeing right now. Oh yeah, bro. This is like me playing. It's like I'm playing directly from my PC in 4K. I mean, honestly, that's how that's how it looks. And it's the Warriors to start out. Oh, this is awesome. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Steph Curry is out there with Lee, then it's Wiggins, then there's Draymond Green, and it's Chris in at the center. What's the input lag? I mean, there is a little bit of input lag, but it's not that bad. You know, it's not a horrible input lag. It's like uh, the input lag you would get on a television. You know, it's kind of like that. Like you would get on the OLED TV. So it's not a terrible, terrible, terrible input lag. It's playable. You know, it's like I said, similar to what you have on your TV. Can beat you in so many ways. Good on the bucket. Chris has got his second bucket. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, right. find a Pass way Pass the to ball. Score. Tires from the corner. The there we go. From Abdul-Jabbar. He is just always a step ahead of the defense. Magic runs this off. Now, it is 30 Absolute frames per second. Okay, it's not 60. It's 30 frames per second. All right, just to let everybody know. Now, the reason you're seeing a 4K30 is because my capture card can only capture 4K30. I cannot capture 4K60. My computer, it's not powerful enough to, to capture uh, 4K60. Now, another thing you can do, you can capture... You can capture the gameplay directly from your Chromecast Ultra, and then you can upload that uh, video to YouTube. Actually, you can do that as well. So you have that option. Like, you don't have to use this capture card to do it. You can use a Chromecast Ultra, record directly from Chromecast Ultra, and then upload the video to YouTube. You have that ability to do that uh, so that's kind of cool all right so this is a this is a pretty good step forward for uh, Google Stadia I'm, I'm glad that they're implementing these features you know I'm happy that this is happening and you know this is what we want this is what we've been waiting for uh, quite honestly guys this is what it's all about 
Uh, to me, right now, I really want to see how Doom Eternal is going to run. You know, that's that's to me what's going to make me come back. Doom Eternal is going to be that one game that's going to make me determine whether I come back with the pro or not. But having this 4K ability, because I'm all about the 4K. You know, I miss the 4K upscaler. So to have the 4K option on the browser and on my television and with HDR, I mean, I'm like already, you know. I'm pretty much sold on it, you know. And he shows the focus there. So let me exit this. Um, and you know this, Kevin. We let me exit. Um, let me say Stephen a couple of few more words shooting, about the, the uh, this really quick. Because remember, I'm recording this in 4K, and I only got so much time to to record this on. Um, here's what I want to say. I think this is a good step forward. I think it's great that Google Stadia is doing this. Uh, they should have done this from from day one, okay? If they had done this from day one, if they have implemented all of these features from day one, uh, I think there wouldn't be too much of a backlash, you know? Because I always said technology that Google has, it's an excellent technology and it works. It works super well, okay? The only thing that was missing, obviously, it's video games that's the one thing that was lacking and this is good this is good it's in uh it's in the right direction it's a step forward in, in the right direction but we got to see more we got to see more games uh we got to see more features you know we still need to see more and of course doom eternal will be a defining defining moment to me March 20th will be a defining moment to me, whether I come back or don't come back on, on Google Stadia. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how Doom Eternal runs. Uh, I will try it. I will do a video on it. I will do a live stream on it, and I'll let you know how it runs. And that will be a defining moment to me, Doom Eternal, because that's a brand new Doom game, and you need a very powerful PC to run that game on your PC. So to be able to play Doom Eternal on your browser on your on your you know low-end computer with a browser and your 4k hdr television that's going to be a pretty big deal i think for for me personally when it comes to google stadia all right well there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this video this video is in 4k but just please remember uh it will take time till this uh video is processed all right having said that thank you i'll see you guys later cheers